because I didn't have my audio on for this game, I'm going to do a voiceover uh, while watching the video. All right, so here we go. So it's going to be the Dodgers, the 72 Dodgers, I mean the 1965 Dodgers versus the 72 A's. So over here, what you see is the defense for the Dodgers. So the defense for the Dodgers, you're going to have Johnson in left, Davis in center, Fairley at right, Wills at short. Uh, and there we go. And here's the lineup for the A's. And that was the lineup for the A's. <laughs> All right, here we go. So Claude Osteen's going to be pitching to Bert Campanaris here. And Osteen's a, uh, minus one to walks, minus one to hits, minus one to strikeouts. But he does give up some home runs. So this is the first game in Los Angeles. And we're getting ready, and there's the roll. And let's see, we rolled a 97, so that's going to be a hit for Bert Campanaris. And that will be a 21. That will be a range check. So we should do a range check. 31 will be a single. No, actually, that was a platoon check. There's no platoon advantage because it's already a hit. So that will be a single. That will put Campanaris on first base. So now we have Joe Rudy up. So now... We're going to take a look at Bert Campanaris. He's going to try to steal second base. And there's the roll. 29, he gets the jump. And the steal is 23, and Bert Campanaris steals second base. So Bert Campanaris is now 2 for 4 in the area of steals. Joe Rudy's going to be up. Claude Ostey is pitching to Joe Rudy. The windup. And here comes the pitch. 26. 26 is going to be a ground out for Joe Rudy. Now I believe we're going to check to see if Campanaris goes to second, third base. So over here you look at the non-force out play and you take whatever, whatever uh, player fielded it and you read to the right so you're going to go a third base. For instance, in this case, if, if the second baseman fielded it, you look second baseman to third base, and it'll be plus 15 to the run, plus the second baseman's arm rating. In this case, I rolled a 38, and Bert Campanaris will have made it the third base. All righty. So that's looking over there. So the non force out plays can, can occur at third base, and naturally they can occur at home. All right, so, so he made it to third base. Now Reggie Jackson's going to be up. 89, it looks like that's going to be a hit for Reggie Jackson. No, that was an out. Yeah, what, what happened was uh, Campanaris went to third base and there wasn't an attempt to get him because it would have been because you would have lost easy out at first base. So Reggie Jackson just got out. Sal Bando's going to be up. Reggie Jackson get out four to three. Sal Bando gets a single here. And that Sal Bando single sends Bert Campanaris home. Or could it be on Reggie Jackson? I'm not sure. But anyways, the uh, Oakland A the Oakland A's lead one to nothing. Claude Osteen to Gene Tennis, and Gene Tennis strikes out to end the inning. So now we go to the bottom of the first inning with the Oakland A's leading one to nothing. And Vita Blue is going to be pitching to Murray Wills. Fight of blue, minus one to walks, minus two to hits, plus four to strikeouts, minus eight to the home run. And 70. 70 will be a fly out for Murray Wells. 
and he will fly out to right field. Fighter Blue has a slight chance of turning a fly out, a ground out into a fly out. But since this is a fly out, we don't have to check it. Murray Wolves is out. And now Jim Gilliam is going to be up. The wind up and the pitch to Jim Gilliam. And that's 48. So whenever I have a leaner like that, I tap the table a little bit and see which way it goes. So 48 is going to be a line drive. It's going to be actually a pop-up to the second baseman. So you look at that blue nine for a right-handed hitter, and that's pop-up to the second baseman. So now up will be Willie Davis. And so Willie Davis is up. And we've got a roll to 56. 50, 56 will be a short fly ball into right field. Into, we got three. Yeah, short fly ball into right field. And that should be the thin, that is the third out. So we'll go into the top of the second inning here. So the Oakland Athletics. Over here, I'm rolling for wind because I didn't roll for wind yet. There's no rain. So you're not going to see much weather in California in this series. We still don't have an error, too. Both these teams are very good in avoiding errors. So Dave Duncan's going to be up. Dave Duncan's two for six in the series with one home run. 48 for Dave Duncan. That is going to be a ground ball. And it's going to be hit to the third baseman, five to three. Next up will be Matty Alou. Matty Alou is zero for five in this series. And here's the windup. And the pitch to Alou is 19. 19 is going to be a ground out to the first baseman for Matty Alou. Two outs. And Osteen's going to pitch to Dan Maxville. Max, Maxville is a 0 for 3 in this series. There's the pitch, 51. 51 is going to be a ground out. That ground out is going to be 6 to 3. And that will take care of the Oakland A's at the top of the first inning. A's will have a 2 to 1 lead going into the bottom of the, uh, yeah, bottom of the second inning. Due up will be Fairley, Johnson, and Parker for the Los Angeles Dodgers. <clears throat> so Vita Blue, so Ron Fairley will be up. Ron Fairley's one for seven, two walks and a double in this series. Blue's pitching to Fairley. 45, 45 is going to be look for high ground ball. High ground balls become K. If Blue is a strikeout pitcher, Blue is a strikeout pitcher. Strike three. And we've got a roll because we had two there. No platoon check. Lou Johnson is up. Blue pitching to Johnson. Johnson's one for three with a home run. Blue rolls a 33. That will be a ground ball. That will be a low ground ball. But Vita Blue is not somebody who walks. So that will be a ground out five to three. We're rolling because we've got either a one or a two. Right. West Parker's up. Vita Blue is pitching to West Parker. West Parker's three for eight with a home run. And we roll an 80. West Parker, that would be a hit, but Vita Blue takes away one hit. So he's going to be out. That's going to be a ground out five to three. I'm looking for the chart here. I didn't actually have the chart posted, so I have to make sure next time I play a game and this I post that chart. Right. So Parker's out. So we're going to go to the top of the third inning with the Oakland A's having a one nothing lead, trying to take a 2-1 to one advantage here in Los Angeles. <clears throat> there I go. I look at the physical chart. <clears throat> All right. And 
this is to see what kind of out it was. So we're going to the top of the third inning. Vita Blue is going to be up, followed by Bert Campanaris, Joe Rudy. Osteen's going to pitch to Blue. Good roll of 44. 44 is going to be a strikeout. Vita Blue strikes out. Next up will be Bert Campanaris. Bert Campanaris is two for seven in this series, two walks, one he was hit once, two stolen bases. 30, 30 is a low ground ball, uh, but Claude Osteen is not a hitter that walks a lot, so that's gonna be a ground out. Bert Campanaris is a righty, that five reads six to three. Two outs. And Joe Rudy is going to be up. Joe Rudy is now two for eight with a home run and a walk in this series. Here's a pitch to Rudy. 79 will be a hit for Joe Rudy. That ball will be hit to the third, hit into left field. And that will be a single into left field for Joe Rudy. Joe Rudy is going to be on first. Reggie Jackson's up. Reggie Jackson is 0 for 7 with one walk. Here's the wind up to Jackson. The pitch, 0-2 for a walk. Claude Osteen is not minus two walks, he's minus one walk, so that'll put Jackson at first. Rudy will go a second base. Whereas runners at first and second with two outs. The runners will be going, so that'll add 15 to their running rating, making it easier for that runner to come in from second base if Salbando can get a hit. Salbando gets a hit, 99. But we got to roll to see if we get triple X play or an X play. 43, we don't. So Sal Bando gets a hit. Re uh, Reg uh, Joe Rudy is going to come home. That hit is going to be a long single, single plus one. So that's going to advance the runners two bases. Uh, the hitter can attempt to turn by can attempt to turn that single into a double, but in Bando's case, he'd have to roll a 26 out of 100. So we got a two-run lead for Oakland. Gene Tennis is up. This is Tennis' second at bat. He struck out his first at bat. 68. 68 will be a fly ball into right field. That will be three outs for the visiting Oakland A's. The Oakland A's have a two to nothing lead. We're going to the bottom of the third inning. Los Angeles Dodgers are behind two to nothing. Up for the Dodgers will be Jim LaFay, John Roseborough, and Claude Osteen. Jim LaFay, the second base for the Dodgers, is up. 10, that'll be a high walk. Let's see if that is affected. It's not. So uh, Jim LaFay will be on first base. LaFave, LaFave, LaFave. I don't know my French pronunciation. So LaFave's on first. He's not much of a chance to steal. John Roseborough, the catcher. John Roseborough's one for five in the series. 74 for Roseboro, that's a long fly ball. That'll advance, no, that will not necessarily advance in Lafay to second base. All right, so since it's a fly ball plus, we have to check on the stadium chair. At zero five, it'll be a minus 10, and it'll also be affected by the pitchers right here. In that case, it'll be zero one, so that will be a fly ball. So we have two away, one away actually, John Roseboro. Claude Osteen's going to be up. All right, I'm checking to see if the runner goes from second to third, I mean from first to second on the long fly ball. They don't. All right, here we go. So Claude Osteen's gonna be up. And the windup. And here's the pitch to Claude Osteen. 61, 61 will be a ground ball out four to three. The runner will advance to second. Jim LeFave will be on second for Murray Wills. 
Murray Wills in the series is now three for 10 with a double. All right, we did that to see if there's a pl uh, platoon check. There is a platoon. Had to lose on anyways. All right, so Murray Wills is up. 33 is a ground ball. So Murray Wills grounds out to five to three. We're gonna to go to the top of the fourth inning. The score is A's two, Dodgers two. So top of the fourth inning, we're gonna have Dave Duncan, Maddie Alou, and Dan Maxville is gonna be up. And we roll 23, that is a high K. And high Ks don't get adjusted, so that's a strikeout. One away. Maddie Alou is up. Maddie Alou still hasn't gotten his first hit. He's zero for six at this point. 14, 14 is a ground out for Matty Alou. We got the two, we have to roll to see if there's a platoon check or a triple X check. We have a platoon check. So, and that won't affect it because that won't affect a hit. So I'm gonna see the, okay, so Matty Alou was out first base g3 Dan Max will is up 27 27 is a ground out Dan Maxville will ground out six to three so we're going to the bottom of the fifth inning here is it yeah bottom of the fifth inning here or is it the fourth yeah, bottom bottom of the fourth inning. And we'll have Gilliam Davis and Fairley up. Dodgers are behind uh, two to nothing to the A's. Here in Los Angeles, third game of the series. The series is tied one game apiece. 49, Jim Gilliam. Jim Gilliam will line that ball to the first baseman. Tennis has it and he's out. Willie Davis will be up. Davis is two for 10 with a home run. The wind up in the pitch. 95 will be a hit for Davis. Davis will hit the ball into center field. And 90, that is gonna be a long double for Willie Davis. Willie Davis will be on second base, one out. Ron Fairley is gonna be up. Light of blue pitching her on fairly. And the windup. There's the pitch. 84. That will be a hit for Ron Fairley. Is there a platoon? We have to check for a platoon out possibility. 44. Yeah, we do have to do a platoon roll here. One error two, and but we'll get some out. He doesn't. So that will be a hit. For Ron Fairley, Willie Davis is on second base, one out. So the roll will be a 58. That'll be a long single. And Fairley will, so now we have to check Willie Davis to see if he goes home. So first you see if the runner goes home, then the defense has to see if the defense is going to try to throw them out. Usually if the, it's a high if it's a high percentage play for the offense, the defense won't try to throw them out. Sometimes I do see if the defense can maybe gamble and actually get them out in key situations, but not here. In this case, Willie Davis will go home safely. Now you also have the option to hit the cutoff man. If you hit the cutoff man, the runner can advance a plus 10, but you, you can try to get them out with a withholding the, with preventing from the follow-up runners from advancing. All right. Lou Johnson's up. Lou Johnson's one for four. That's the first score for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Zero seven for Lou Johnson. That's a K, that's a low K. Uh, the low Ks become ground balls. But 
Lighter blue is not a minus K picture, so that is a strikeout. Lighter blue strikes out quite a few. So with two down, we have a runner at first. And 96, 96 will be a hit for Wes Parker. Wes Parker's now four for nine. And here's where we roll for the hit. Okay, so you have a runners at the corners. And Jim Lefebvre is up. And 82, so that'll be hit by Le, for Lefebvre. Lefebvre gets that single that will bring home Ron Fairley, and we have a two to we have a two to two game in the bottom of the fourth inning tie game here in Los Angeles. Los Angeles tied it up. That's the single. John Roseboro is going to be up now, the catcher. Two to two game, bottom of the fourth inning. John Roseboro's up. Wind up, the pitch. Wind up and the pitch. Thirty-six for Roseboro. And thirty-six for Roseboro will be a ground out. And that's it. So we're going to the tie game here. We're going to the top of the fifth inning. Vita blew up. Vita blew, 44 is a strikeout. Vita blew's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. He's not a big hitter. So now up we have Bert Campanaris. Bert Campanaris is 2 for 8, hitting 250. He has two stolen bases, two walks. One, he was hit once. He has 2 for 4 on the stolen bases. 0 1, that's a walk, but Claude Osteen takes away walks. So that will actually be a five to three. We have to see if we have an error check on this. And the out is five to three. Two outs. Next up will be Joe Rudy. Joe Rudy is one for two in this game, three for nine in the series, one home run, a walk. He scored the first run in this game. The pitch is 45. 45 for Joe Rudy, that's going to be a pop out to shortstop. So we're going to go to the bottom of the fifth inning with the score tied at two. Game three action here in L.A. Series is tied one to one. First up will be Osteen, then Wilds, then Gilliam. 79. 79 will be a fly out for Osteen. Osteen is not a great hitter. Fly out to center field for Osteen. I have to check if there's a there is a triple X play. There's not an X play. So Murray Wiltz will be at bat. Bottom of the fifth, high score. And we get 0 4. 0 4 will be a walk. So Murray Wiltz walked. So Wills is on first. He is a prolific base stealer. He's going to try to steal this base. If he can get on second, he's in position to score the go-ahead run. 17. Here he goes. What a throw. Now, this was a fantastic throw. 97. And Dave Duncan threw out Murray Wills, which could be a key play because we're going to have a tie game here. 65, 65 is going to be a fly ball. That's going to be into right field, and that's going to retire the Dodgers. So we're going to go to the top of the fifth inning here. I mean, top of the sixth inning. The game is tied at two. Both teams trying to take a 2-1 to -one lead in this series. Next three games are this game, and the next two games are going to be in L.A. Sandy Koufax pitches next game. Sandy Koufax has superb game the first game. Claude Osteen, the first batter will be Reggie Jackson for the uh, Oakland Athletics. 12. 12 is a low K. Low K's become ground balls and so that will become a ground out 6-3. to three. 
Claude Osteen's not a strikeout pitcher. That will be uh, out six to three. One out. A few up will be San, Sal Bando and Gene Tennis. Sal Bando's now three for eight. Sal Bando's seeing 375, one home run and one walk. Sal Bando's having a good series so far. The wind up by Osteen. And here comes the pitch. 35. 35 is a ground ball. And that will be an out. We're going to check to see if there's an error by the third baseman. And there is no error check. So Gilliam fields it cleanly, throws it to Wes Parker, and that is two outs. Gene Tennis will now be up. And Tennis rules a 0 2. That will be a walk. Tennis will walk to first base. Run on first, two outs. Dave Duncan is up. Dave Duncan's two for eight. He's seeing 250 with one home run in the series. Claude Osteen pitches to Duncan. 87. 87 will be a hit for Duncan. Into right field. And that will be a long single. Now that will be a single. Now you would try to see if you send tennis to third. Tennis 46 becomes a 56. The outfielder is a minus 5, be 55. But then we're going to have to check on the chart. So first to third on a single to right field, minus 5. So we're going, to have, we're going to have runners at first and third now with two out. Matty Alou is going to be up. Matty Alou is 0 for 7 in this series. He still has yet to get his first hit. Tie game still, 2-2. Two to two. So now up is Matty Alou, and Matty Alou is going to fly out to left field for the third out. And there we go, 68. 68 is a fly ball, and it's an out. Highest fly balls become hits, but Claude Oste is not plus hits. So that will be the third out. We're going to the bottom of the, bottom of the sixth inning, and the score is tied 2-2. Two to two. Due up for the Dodgers will be LaFay, Roseboro, and Claude Osteen. Fight of Blue, pitch it to Willie Davis. I mean, yes. Yep, sixth inning. Fight of Blue is pitching to Willie Davis. Lost myself there. And Davis line out to the second base. Ron Fairley's up. Ron Fairley is two for eight, a double, and two walks. 24 for Fairley. 24 is going to be a ground out. He's going to be a ground out third baseman to first baseman. Sal Bando is going to throw it to Gene Tennis. That's two outs. Lou Johnson's up. Lou Johnson is one for five with one home run and one strikeout. The wind up by Vita Blue. And the pitch. The pitch is 86. That would could be a hit. That could be a hit. So let's see. So now we got to check to see if there's a range or error on it. If we do a range check or an error check. So there will be an error check on the play. Now we roll to see Lou Johnson type of hit. Zero, zero is 100. That's as high as you can get. Lou Johnson gets a second home run of this game. That puts the Dodgers ahead 2 to nothing. Lou Johnson is now two for five with two home runs in this series. He's having a big series. Yeah, you do still have to roll. We are rolling on the uh, on the park carry, but you don't take away that that five on the minus ten. If you if it's a fly plus, you subtract ten from the dice roll. If it's a home run, you don't subtract anything from the dice roll other than possibly the pitcher or weather effects. 24, 24 is a strikeout. Wes Parker strikes out. So we're going to the top of the seventh inning. Los Angeles Dodgers on the Lou Johnson home run.
take a two to one lead, I mean a three to two lead going into the top of the seventh inning. Due up will be Maxville, Blue, and Campy. 28, 28 is gonna be a ground ball. We have to see if we have an error check. 62, 62. So the ground out is going to be six to three. Wills picks it up, throws it to Parker, and he's, and Maxwell is retired. Fight of Blue is up. 59. 59 for Blue is a strikeout. That's Blue's third strikeout. He just strikes out a lot. He's not a great hitter. Bert Campanaris is up. Bert Campanaris. 62. 62 is a fly ball into the left fielder. Going to have to do a roll. See if he feels it cleanly. And Lou Johnson feels that ball cleanly. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh here. So we're going to the bottom of the seventh here. And we'll have LaFay, Roseburg, and Osteen up. Dodgers would like some insurance runs. Will they get them? I don't know. Jim LaFay is up. Fighter Blue is still pitching. He's only allowed three runs so far. 29, 29 is a ground out. LaFay will hit it to the shortstop. Campanaris, Campanaris, which throws it to tennis. And that's two outs. And one out. John Roseboro will be up. And the pitch to Roseboro. 32, 32 is a high ground ball to Roseboro, Vita Blue, those high ground balls become K. So Roseboro should have struck out. Roseboro strikes out. So now up we'll have Claude Osteen. It's going to be up. And 52, that is a strikeout. No, it's not. It's actually a fly ball. But we have an X play. So Osteen's going to fly into left field. And we have an X play. So this X play actually put... Osteen into the groove. And that's the third out, fly to left field. So we're going to go to the top of the eighth inning, and the Dodgers will still have a three to two lead. So if you notice the cards are shaking a little bit, my new arrangement, the cards aren't going to be shaking. The cards are going to be steady. What is at a very small table, and whenever I would hit the table, the table would shake, which would shake the camera. But now I have the camera connected to a different table. All right, Claude Osteen is going to pitch to Joe Rudy. Ace one run. They're behind three to two. It's a good game here. Zero two. Jerudy walks. Just do a quick check to see if there's a platoon. So Rudy's going to be on first base. And Reggie Jackson's going to be up. Reggie Jackson is 0 for 8 in this game. Reggie Jackson, 0 for 8, 2 walks. He hasn't done much in this series. He's actually played kind of weak in the outfield, too. 75 will be another out for Reggie Jackson. Reggie Jackson will fly it into left field. Joe Rudy's still on first. Sal Bando is up. Sal Bando's two for three. He's three for nine. Oh, two here. 
and we get Sal Bando lining out to second base. Unless I miss something. Okay, yeah, here we are. So Sal Bando's up. And here's the windup and the pitch to Bando. Claude Osteen's pitching Sal Bando. Eighty-one. Eighty-one would be a hit for Sal Bando, but Claude Osteen takes that hit away from him. And that becomes a line drive to the third baseman. So that'll be two outs, run on first. So with two outs, tying run is at first base and Joe Rudy. Now we have Gene Tennis up. Gene Tennis is this is his first game. He's 0 for 2, one walk and one strikeout. So here we go. Gene Tennis is up. So here I am explaining that that minus one hit takes away the hit. All right, so Claude Osteen's going to face Gene Tennis. Let's see what happens here. Oakland A's, they like a run here to tie it up at the very least. A home run would be great. 39, 39 will be a ground. Now Gene Tennis hits the third base to the first baseman. And we're going to go to the bottom of the eighth inning with the Oakland A's behind the 65, 72 A's behind the 65 Dodgers. Three to two. So for the Oakland, for the 65 Dodgers, Wider Blue will be pitching at Wills, Gilliam, and Davis. And here's the pitch to Murray Wills. Murray Wills, 20, 39. 39 will be a, nope. And that will be out. Five to three, one out. Jim Gillian, I'm up, one out. Fight of Blue is still only allowed three runs. 90, 90 will be a, should be a hit for Jim Gilliam. And that will be a single for Jim Gilliam. Now that's only the seventh hit given up by Vita Blue. Vita Blue has been pitching a good game so far. Jim Gilliam gets that long single. Willie Davis is going to be up or on first. And we'll call it 99. That's going to be a hit for Davis. And Davis gets a short single. That'll move Gilliam to second base. Now we got Ron Fairley up. Ron Fairley is up. Runners at first and second with only one out. The Dodgers would like some insurance runs here. Ron Fairley's coming to the plate. He's only two for 10 in this series. He has a double and two walks. He's hitting 200. And we finally take out Vita Blue. Vita Blue has given up two straight hits. It's in the eighth inning. So we're bringing in Bob Locker. Locker is a minus five to walks. Doesn't walk many. Minus 17 to home runs, plus one to strikeouts. Even on the hits, and he turns a lot of fly balls into ground balls. He's a good man if you want to double play. 
93. 93 is a probable hit. And that will be a hit for Ron Fairley. 24. That was, that was before was to see if we have an error check. Okay. And there's no error on the play. So Fairley gets a single. That will bring Gilliam home. We'll have runs at first and second. We'll one out. That was a good insurance, lead, insurance run. For Los Angeles, Los Angeles now leads this game four to two. Jim Gilliam is tagging up and going home. So over here, I'm looking for the tag up from second base. So if you're looking at runner advancement chart, singles or doubles, you're looking for second to home. You'll be plus 15 to the run rating. If there's two outs, it'll actually be plus 30 to the run rating. And the runner is Gilliam, and he is a good runner. So, so what the Dodgers will do, they'll hit the cutoff man. Cutoff man gives him a free, free try to throw out Gilliam without laying the advancing runners advance. So Lou Johnson's up, Lou Johnson strikes out. But we have a possible X play here. Now West Parker's up. And so now we'll have, we have runners at first and second, but right now, Bob Locker is gonna balk. So he starts to go to first and then doesn't. So Fairley will go to second. Dave, Fairley will go second. Davis will go to third. The ball comes on an X play, 76. And we'll go to the X chart. That will be a bulk. So over here what happened was West Parker hit the ball to the infield. The infielder had a choice. Was he going to get the automatic out at first base for West Parker or was he going to try to get Willie Davis coming home? This is a case where they took it was a very, very low chance of getting him out, probably around 10%. They went for Davis, they couldn't get Davis. And that mean, means that West Parker was at first base. And Ron Fairley went to third. So you, now you have runners at first and third. And that's one the good thing about this game is the fielding decisions are very, very strong. So now we have Jim LaFay will be up. So now at this point, the Dodgers have a 5-2 to two lead with Claude Osteen grooving. So if the Dodgers can hold on in this series, they're going to be there's going to be a game four in Los Angeles. Game four or five will be in Los Angeles. Dodgers will have a two run a two to one lead in the series. Game three will face Cat, Catfish Hunter against Sandy Koufax. Sandy Koufax pitched a masterful game, and I think it was a one here all the way into the eighth and the ninth inning. He just dominated the A's in the first in the first game. If he can do that again, the Los Angeles Dodgers will have a three to one lead in this series. And the final game in Los Angeles, we will play for pitch for that. It will be a repeat of the A's win in the second game. It will be Ken Holtzman versus John Don Drysdale. Don Drysdale is a great pitcher. So there's a lot of great pitching in this game. A lot of great fielding, almost no errors, literally no error. There haven't been any errors in this series yet, which is phenomenal. You very rarely see that. These are two very good defensive teams. They're very good pitching teams, both with and with excellent. We still, I think we've seen Raleigh Fingers maybe once. And 
I mean, if, if this game, I was going to put fingers in, but I want him to close it. But Locker still has a fantastic card, too. That minus five to walks is phenomenal. And Jim Lefebvre got out, flew out the center field. So here, Osteen's going to try to close out the game. He's going to face Duncan, Maxville, and Locker. Assuming, of course, that we don't get pitch hitters. So at this point, Osteen wind up and the pitch. And the first batter is going to be out F8. So next up is going to be Matty Olu. I left him in there. He's 0 for 8 in this series. But he's due. I mean, at some time, Matty Olu is going to get hit, so you just got to stay with him, right? Here comes Matty Alou. Claude Osteen is pitching to Alou. So into to Alou. Alou's going to stand there and hit. Because he's due. He should get a hit. I mean, he's 0 for 7. He's a good, he's a, he has 0 for 8 at this point. So I stayed with him. And he rewarded me with a hit. If that, now if that was minus 2, Osteen would have stole that hit. But Osteen's a minus 1 pitcher. So Alou gets on. Since he's a lefty, he's going to hit that ball into center field, and it's going to be a short single. So we have a runner at first, Dan Maxville, who is now 0 for 6. I'm pulling Maxville, and I'm putting in George Hendrick. George Hendrick will be a pinch hitter for Maxville. So I'm checking through my bench. Next up will be Vita Blue. I will bring in a pinch hitter for him too. So the A's are going to have to be able to tie the series next game, but if they tie the series, they're going to have to do it against Catfish Hunter. Assuming, of course, that they can't come back and get three runs here which is a possibility. George Hendrick is up. So the tying run is in the on-deck circle. And the on-deck circle will be Angel Mangual. And here's Hendrick. The wind-up in the pitch to Hendrick i.e. me shaking the dice. And it's 72. Hendrick, that will be a fly out. High fly outs become hits. If Osteen was a plus hit, but it's not, Osteen's not a plus two hits. So George Hendrick will fly out to center field. Runner won't advance. And with two outs, we'll have Angel Mangual is going to pinch. Angel Mangual is 0 for 7 in this series. He's still looking for his first hit. If we do get a uh, game, if we get, well, we're going to get game four. And it is going to be Sandy Koufax. And if we get a game seven, it's going to be Sandy Koufax. Koufax pitched a marvelous first game. Andrew Mangual. And here's the windup. Claude Osteen is going to pitch to Mangual. Here's the pitch. 39, 39 for Mangual will be a ground out to the shortstop, six to three, and that's the game. So the Los Angeles Dodgers have won here in LA. Los Angeles Dodgers take a two to nothing lead in this series, in the third game. Next game, Sandy Koufax is gonna be facing Catfish Hunter. Be there, don't miss it. Hopefully I'll have my sound on so I won't have to do a sound over again. But anyways, the a the Oakland A's got uh, Claude Osteen pitch a great game. Two runs, six hits, no errors. Still no, neither team has errors in this game. And he pitched a fantastic game.
I'm going to give up six hits, no extra base hits. He gave up one, two, three walks. He struck out one, two, three, four, five, five batters. Fight of Blue was pitching good up until, it's pitching pretty good up until the fourth inning. Then things started to unravel. The first three innings, he only allowed a walk. And then the fourth inning, he allowed two runs. He allowed a home run, this Lou Johnson's second home run in the sixth. And that's it.